Hello, this is Karen. Uh, matagal po kong tinatanong to start a vlog at marami din nagkatanong sa akin kung paano ako nag-start ng aking beauty queen journey. Ano yung uh, pinagdaanan ko nung hindi pa ako beauty queen? Ano yung nangyayang national pageant? Lalo na nung Miss Earth? At anong pinagdaanan ng mga queens kapag nanalo sila? At anong ginagawa after sila mag -rate? Are you ready for some revelations? pinangarap kasi alam ko na ayaw ng magulang ko. So, hindi ako willing sumugal sa pangarap ng walang blessing ng parents ko. Unang pageant na sinalihan ko was Pinibini, Pilipinas. Naalala ko pa na sa McDonald's ako noon, kasama ko yung dad ko, pag open ko nung newspaper, ang front noon was nanalo si Shamsi for Miss Universe Philippines. Ah, sobrang na-inspire ako kasi first time ako nakakita ng professional na sumari ng beauty pageant. Tapos, she advocated for education. She answered about education. So ever since noon, nakita ko na kaya ko palang i-bring yung profession ko to life. That's how it all started for me. NR, like this, NR. <laughs> um, honestly, it, it wasn't for me. I wasn't fully ready in Binibini, Philippines. And sa kalahat makakita nun, kapag na-compare nila yung performance ko ng Miss Philippines Earth sa Binibini, malayo. Kasi first time ko sa Mano Binibini, I never joined competitions outside of my school. So, sobrang bro. Um, it, it wasn't for me. Yun lang talaga. Disappointed is a strong word. I would put it in a word na uh, I was not disappointed. But uh, it, it's normal to be hurt when you lose. It's, it's, it's normal for you to feel the pain of losing. That's fine. You just have to really use that pain to help you move forward and find what's really good for you. Nag-motivate sa akin sumali ulit kasi nakita ng mentors ko at ng parents ko na may quality ako of women. I never saw it, pero importante talaga na isurround mo yung sarili mo with people who believes in your abilities. Tsaka kung ano yung kaya mong gawin. So I really thank my mentors and my parents for pushing me to join again. Nakonvince ako sumayal ng Miss Earth, or Miss Philippines Earth, 2017. Kasi um, nakita ng mentors ko na more for that field ako. Tapos nung nagsistart kong isipin na okay ba ako dito, doon ko na-realize na wala pong sumasaling scientist. Kasi sobrang perfect ng Miss Earth for scientists. That's how it all started for me, yung journey ko ng Miss Philippines Earth. Um, in terms of training, mas less kasi na-train na ako during Binibini. Kaya nung nalo ako ng Miss Earth, when I won na sa international, lagi tinatanong sa akin ng tao na, Ano to? Is it your comeback or revenge for Binibini? No, it's not. I will always be grateful to become a Binibini kasi doon ako na-train para ako malagay sa tamang competition. So, hindi ako hindi kong tao na, eh, kasi natalo ako and I super, I don't like that organ. No, I'm a type of person na nakita ko na lahat ng pinagdaanan ko is a journey and I'm very grateful for Binibini. Uh, you have to save. That's normal. But, this is the first time that people would know I never had a handler. Nanalo ako ng walang handler at walang manager. It was just Tito Rogel and the whole team helping me. That's it. You just have to be connected with the right people. Pero serving, um, saving financially is an aspect. You just don't have to save so much. Sakto lang para kung everyday mo in the stuff that you need to buy. Yes. Hindi mo sila kayang i-depend on that. Like, for your lipstick and stuff, kailangan meron kang sum for yourself. Pero when you get connected to the right people, they're gonna give you everything that you need. Oh yeah. The moment nagpass ako ng application, alam ko, malakas ang laban ko. Kaya sobrang confident ako during Miss Philippines Earth. Parang mas na-bold kasi ako ng competition na second time. Parang mas alam ko na yung gagawin ko, uh, mas prepared na ako, mas controlled na yung pagsasalita ako, mas controlled na yung actions ko on stage. Hindi na ako na-overwhelm ng crowd. Kasi nung 
first time ko sa Bini Bini, parang hindi ko kaya i-control yung na-overwhelm ako lagi ng crowd all the time, even my performances. Pero this time, kaya ko na siya i-control. So, naman, normal na panghilaan ka ng loob during your journey. That's normal. Kasi nung time na yun, last na sali ko na kasi, hindi na ko pwede sumali ulit. So, minsan talaga may edge kapag final na or last chance mo na kasi ibibigay mo na talaga lahat. Yeah, may time na napanghilaan ako ng loob. Pero, kailangan mo isipin na you just have to give it your all. Kasi pag hindi mo nabigay, you would forever regret that na hindi mo na siya kayang balikan. <laughs> Sobrang pain ng dad ko. Kasi yung dad ko, ano siya, um, I was never good in high school. I was never good in speaking. I was not a performer or anything. So, naalala ko pa sabi niya sa akin, nung audience daw siya, nung Miss Philippines Earth, sobrang proud na siya na top 5 lang ako. Sabi niya, okay na Lord, top 5 lang siya. Pero iba kasi kapag nag-compete ka, yung, yung aim ko kasi is manalo talaga. So, parang sobrang proud na naalala ko ng Miss Philippines Earth. So, sobrang ganda ng pagkasagot, pagka-deliver. So, I guess he was really my number one fan. Kasi sobrang proud siya. Kasi ever since I was young, I never ever thought that I would join a beauty pageant and represent the Philippines in the international stage. Oh, naman. I mean, normal naman na pag natalo ka, niluto ka. Kapag natalo ka, niluto ka pa rin. So, hindi mo na talaga alam kung papalo ka dapat manalo. Pero, you just have to always remember that when you win, you're deserving to win that competition. And that was your timeline. Everything has a perfect timing, and that was my thing. International is hard. Sobra. Kasi nung time ko, two months lang ako nag-prepare. I was working for Miss Philippines Earth Box. So super dam kong duties as a winner. Tapos, iba pa yung trainings ko at night. So madaling araw na ako nakaka-uwi. Tapos, iba pa yung preparations ko for clothes and um, all my styling for the competition. So it was really hard. Ah, iba mo pala yung sa Q&A. Iba pa yun. Iba pa yung Q&A ko. So, kailangan ko yung research. So, daming preparations. Alam ko na mahirap manalo. <laughs> Kasi, mahirap mag-compete sa sarili mong country. Kasi, kahit gano'ng kagaling, laging isipin ng tao. Pag nanalo ka sa sarili mong bansa, niluto ka. It was going to that. It was just Thailand. She was my greatest competitor. As in, hindi ko pa siya nakikita. Alam ko siya na yung isa sa pinakamalakas kong kalaban kasi maganda siya at marunong siya magsalita. My secret weapon was to focus on yourself. That's it. You can never compare yourself with another contestant because it will bring you down. So when I focused on myself, alam ko pa paano i-hide the weakness ko at alam ko pa paano i-boost yung strength ko. And I pray. And Yun talaga yung secrets of winning. That's it. You're really gonna work hard and pray for your victory. And you're just gonna trust God's will. It's gonna be you. Wala naman. Like, nung nagkukompete ako, siguro, ah, siguro one of the things that I always hear, especially for other people, na hindi mananalo yan. Kasi sobrang small lang yung statistic na manalo ako that time. Kasi kakapanalo lang ni Angelia a year before, or 27, 2015 siya nanalo, back to back pa. Sobrang imposible yung manalo ng Philippines. So, kailangan extraordinary yung performance mo just for you to win. So, sobrang liit ng chances ko of winning. Wala lang, I just, I just competed. Kasi sabi ko, it's not, it's not gonna happen to me again. So, it's your choice. Either malulukot ka or gagawin mo yung best mo. Kasi hindi na siya mauulit. It's, it's always your choice. Parang, it's, it's really about understanding that 1% lang yung nangyayari sa'yo at 99% is how you're going to respond to it. Ganun talaga. My advantage was that I was known. In my life, ma, um, it changed in a snap in just one night. Um, ever since noon, dun ako nakilala na yung unang scientist na nalo in beauty pageants. And na bring ko yung profession ko to life for people to understand. And I was able to share my advocacy ever since then. Ah, I used to play badminton. I was a varsity player. Pero hindi na ako nag-continue. Kasi so ko maglaro before for UAAP for um, my university. So yun yung dream ko when I was in college. Pero 
Um, sabi ng parents ko, hindi kita in-enroll para maglaro. <laughs> in-enroll kita para mag-aral. So ever since then, hindi ko na pinush yung, yung path na yun. Kaya, hindi ko naman alam na kapag hindi ko pala pinalo yung path na yun, hindi ko alam mo yung video ko yung pala ako yung future. So, I'm very grateful to follow my parents. See, there's always advantage in following your parents. Kung uulitin kung sumali ulit at kung pwede pa ulit kung sumali, at lahat sila hindi pa nanalo, I believe Catriona is a good one. Kasi si Catriona parehas kami may story. At marunong siyang magsalita at she knows how to perform on stage. So I really believe that one of the greatest competitions I can see now is Catriona. Kasi ang ganda ng story niya eh. Ganun talaga kung sasali ka, kailangan may story ka. Tsaka kailangan may advocacy ka. I mean, hindi naman siya required. Pero sobrang um, edge kasi siya kapag may pinaglalaban ka. At meron kang message na susabihin sa tao. Kung qualified pa ako, why not? Diba? Um, I would love to do it if I'm still qualified, but uh, as far as I can see now, is um, I already had my time, so I would love to help someone achieve their dreams and mentor them. Because my time has already come, so I want to give other people chances to do it. Melanie Marquez. Her long legs. <laughs> from the Philippines! Her beautiful face. Megan Young! Sobrang sweet niya. She was so perfect for Miss World. And uh, in person, she's really pretty. Ang payat niya. Tapos ang liit talaga ng face ni Megan Young. She was perfect for the work. Mia Alonso works back. She's so classic. She has a great story and she's just balanced with all aspects. That's Pia. Kylie Belzosa! She knows how to play her game. And um, she's good with strategies. That's that's really Kylie's um, strengths. Maria Marika Maxine Medina Philippines! Maxine's very sweet and she's really nice in person. Even though she's out of the camera, she has the heart of a true queen. She's very passionate. That's what drove her to be who she is now. Gazzini Ganados, Philippines! Gazzini has a beautiful face that every Filipino would love to have. I would just want to invite everyone to subaybayan po ang next videos namin because we're going to give you a lot of insights about beauty pageants and more.